Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so this is Moss Street, and every year they have a painting here, all arts and crafts. The road is closed to traffic from here down to Dallas Road. I'm not sure where my friends are going to be, so I'll head down this way first, and then maybe head back in a little while. Later on, I'm going to go for fish and chips. Fish and chips. So this whole street is devoted to arts and crafts today. There are probably 200 exhibitors, bigger than the Canada Day party from the other week. Hi, Cindy. How are you? Walking. Yes, I am. Yeah, this is the first full week with no crutch and no boot. Oh, oh, no boot. You must feel liberated. I had this plastic boot for the longest time. That's enough to give you hip problems. Yeah, I did. I did the first couple of days. I really had an issue. Uh, I'm too scatterbrained by this point to take the money. It's a beautiful day, and you're not in the, you're not too exposed to the wind here. Uh, yeah. A little bit further up the hill, it's kind of br breezy up there. It gets gusty, and I guess it depends if it comes off the water. Apparently, later in the afternoon is when it gets windy at this location, but oh, well. we're just not going to think about that. Norma's playing pickleball at the moment. Mm -hmm. She's on Carnarvon. I came here by bus. Where is Carnar Carnarvon? It's off Fal Bay Road. It's, like the it's off Fal Bay Road, between Fal Bay and, oh, okay. yep. and the water. Yeah, she mentioned that she was at that park, and I thought, I know that name, but I don't know where it is. It's like with me. I know all these names, <laughs> yeah. but I can't place them. You have to say what the cross street is, yeah. and then you get a better idea. Well, even coming here, he said, is this Cook Street? <laughs> You've lived here for 14 years now. Yeah. How's it going? Are you selling anything? Uh, yes. Yeah. You know, we're allowed to set up from 9.30. At 9.35, people are wanting to buy stuff. They're really? rummaging through boxes, and it it makes me so squirrely-brained. Well, those are the people who are looking for bargains early on, and then they'll disappear. Yes, they they won't be back here later on. No, they won't be back later. No. Listen, I'll, uh, I might be down this end again, but it's quite a long walk for me, actually, oh, still. Think, yeah. This is almost like a little marathon for me. It is, and it's going to be uphill. <laughs> All the way back. I want to get down to Dallas Road and then head back up. I'll say hi yeah. to you on the way yeah. by. <laughs> Chris, hi. Hi, I'm just saying a little walk and see some culture. Oh, okay. Well, you're off for a walk, eh? Well, yes, look. No Good. crutch, no boot, nothing. Yeah. Let's go. How are you walking? Everything good? Oh, everything's just sore as hell, but it's just 50 years of running have done it to me. I'm just, I just go out for about 15 to 20 minutes of three days a week, four days a week, and twice a week I go to cardio. At the, at the gym? At the, uh, no, at the uh, hospital. Oh, okay. Yeah, they get lifting weights. Is that like some sort of rehab? Yes, it is. Ah. I, yeah, it's, uh, you know, I just, uh, other than I'm doing all right, just to... Uh, I thought I might see a few people I knew today. Yeah. You're the second. The first person I know knew was uh, one of the exhibitors, a potter. Oh, yeah. A friend of my wife's. Oh, yeah. yeah. Last year I came here on my bicycle, that's okay. right. And I, yeah. I parked it at Moss Street at the, at the uh, art yeah. gallery. What I like to do is walk the length of... Uh... Walk the length of uh, Moss Street. Yes. That's, that's a bit of. Ooh. 
Yeah, the only trouble is, as you just experienced, running into your own pedal. Well, I should be a vet because I'm on it every six, seven days a week. When I, I know, but with all these people, oh, it's yeah, going to be yeah. difficult. You might be better off locking up your bike somewhere. No, I'm going to be all right because I'm going to walk the length and go home. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, you could have always parked at the other end and then done halfway and back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got a plan. <laughs> you do? That's good. I have a plan too. I wanted to do the whole of Moss Street today. I'm going to do that, yeah. Just to see. I started at uh, Fairfield. I yeah. got off the bus, yeah. came this way. I'm going to go up to the art gallery, come back to Fairfield, have some fish and chips, and then go home. Uh, that's another thing I can Once in a blue Sunday, I can have one of those fish what? and chips. What? Fish and chips? Somebody said I shouldn't be eating bacon anymore. Jeez. I think there's a lot of scaremongery going on. How's your ticker? Fine, how are you doing? Are you? I'm good. Robin, I'm isn't it? Rob, oh my yeah. goodness. It's, yeah, a, I, it's a shock, isn't it? Yeah, it's a stuck to make me cry sometimes. It's so upsetting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no. All these pills are making me kind of yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I glad to see you, guys. you beta blockers are what really knock me back like I just well, I couldn't get my heart rate up you I can't I yeah. think I start feeling nauseous so yeah. like, that's all I can do yeah. so I, I I read uh, and, and I have a friend that runs with it now who's a doctor and he brought some literature back and it basically oh, yeah. said after a year beta blockers don't do you any good so I took that in and I'm holding it in my hand and my cardiologist is looking at me and he's looking at this and he, I didn't say anything and he finally said Almost everything that people bring in here is complete shit. So that's not. It's a good study. I know you're going to quit, so nothing I can do. And, well, and then a year later, he said, oh, you can go off beta blockers if you want. And I hadn't had one for a year. Yeah, so, yeah, I, I got Dr. Swigger. Swigger? Oh, yeah. yeah. Never heard of him. I run, sure. I hey, run, she, run past she. her all the time. Oh, uh, my God. <laughs> she, she actually, she, she was running along with Rob Grant and I. Oh, my goodness. And Rob Grant said, uh, oh, Rob was a patient of yours. And, and she goes, well, we better slow down. <laughs> and I said, no, no, we're good. <laughs> no, we're good, so. Yeah, I just got to jump in on that. So how, how long has it been now? Since February 2nd. February. Oh, for a run, oh, God, what's wrong? I'm just dizzy. I couldn't catch yeah. my breath. Yeah. Uh, well, it, the first couple are really, okay, really, really, really scary. No, I mean, I just was just in disbelief. Yeah, yeah. Well, how quickly you lose your fitness? Well, it's more than that. Your just, body just doesn't cooperate. Uh, I'm waiting for that feeling now because yeah. I'm just coming off Achilles surgery. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I haven't run a step yet, but... I did a bit of elliptical, which was good. Yeah. Because there was no impact. I'm going to the rehab twice a week there with uh, Sam Next week Nelson. I'm going to start. Do that. Sure, do anything they suggest. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I did, I did a lot of walking to start and then swimming. Yeah. And then started running. Yeah. I get too cold in the pool. That's the yeah. trouble. Yeah, yeah. Uh, swim harder. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I've been doing some deep water walking, you know, with yeah. the water yeah. about this deep. Yeah. Because I feel quite safe. There's a guy in Crystal, he runs in the pool for a couple hours a day. Wow. Imagine the mental... He must be on some yeah. kind of rehab. I don't know, he's still running, okay. and he's a runner. Years and years ago, and I pulled, blew up my hamstring, it was just a nagging injury. I cited a, what was it, Rodney, Rodney Crimmon, Robert Crimmon. Yeah. I was in the pool for two, nearly two hours with him. Yeah. Got out, I feel like a limp rag. Yeah, he's still going to the pool all the he's time. Still, he swears by yeah. him. He's, yeah. he kept healthy. Yeah. I was expecting to see him today here. Uh, he might be. Marilyn, he put Marilyn on a plane yesterday morning to go somewhere. I don't know where. And I said, you don't go anymore? And he, he used said, to no. play in a band, and they used to play in the... Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, he's done that. I'm going to go up and see if he's there. Yeah, it could be. Anyways, you coming, I Chris? I would say hi. Good, good see you, Rob. There's two, two big things you've had. Yeah, we've had b b bumped into you as one legend in my life, no, bumping say, into Robin, right. another. You know, Rob Pearson, isn't it? Rob Pearson. Yeah. He indirectly in that stupid chat line may have saved my life years ago. Really? That's going back a bit, isn't well, it? Going back, like 2004. There's this funny looking mole on my skin. Yeah. I, think I told you that. that oh, that's it. right. Yes, you did. You did. Well, I mean, that was a tender hook to that for a good Yeah, year. well. I think if we live long enough, we're going to come down with something, that's for sure. These are my friends here, Cindy. Hi, Cindy. <laughs> a 
If you want to buy a coffee mug, I'm sure Cindy has coffee mugs. I've got my bag, but I'm planning to buy groceries, actually, yeah, when yeah. I get to the farmer's market. Oh, I guess going to sort of walk on. Well, I'm quite happy to walk with you. Are you sure. quite happy to walk with me? Oh, of course, yeah. Good. <laughs> Slow me down, Lisa. <laughs> no, I don't know. But this is good therapy for me, because normally I, I'm just in my own thoughts. At least now I have somebody to yeah, talk with. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is all nudists, all uh, nude paintings. Yeah. I'm just a big Certainly quite a bold display, isn't it? But, um, you know, that, that, those pieces would be quite expensive, a couple of hundred I each. Rob Pearson, he's, a kind of a, he's kind of a Nazi type of guy. He kind of, he's, kind of like he, he's been to these various countries years ago and picked up all sorts of nicknames. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm, really glad, really glad. I'm glad he's still running, and he uh, oh. appears to be running with the Y group as well. Wow, the rail group. The rail group, yeah. Yep. Hopefully next week I'll start jogging again. Well, I'm reluctant to start now because I know if I start running now, it'll be clip-clop, clip-clop, clip-clop. I don't want to develop a, a limp into my run. I want to... Because it takes the longest time to get rid of a limp. And you're always overcompensating with the good leg, so you wear that one out. Would it be more comfortable for you to hold the bike on the other side? No, I'm fine. That's I'm left hand. Yeah. Hang on a second. Brent. Brent. Hey, Carlos, how you doing? Aren't you set up already? I don't know where they are. They're normally higher up. Okay. I've been all the way down there and they, they weren't there. Oh, Come wow. with us. We're going this way. How are you doing today? Pretty good. You see, look, no boot. Nope. Oh, right on. Last okay. time you saw me, I had my boot. This yeah. time, I don't have my boot. Was Al home that time? He was, yes. Okay. He was. Everything is in order. Great. Yeah, well, last time I came here, last year, I came just around 10.30, 11 o'clock, yeah. and they hadn't quite set up, so this time I decided to go down to... Uh, to uh, Dallas Road first and then oh, yeah. come back up. Oh, wow. Yep. That's okay. I've got my friend here, Chris, and his bicycle, so Hello, we're like the mechanical brigade here. Yeah. Yeah, I got battery power. How is your, uh, is your batteries okay? Oh, I, yeah. Yeah? I yeah. guess that's the first thing you learn, isn't it? Keep never run out of, never run out of batteries. So what Try speed are we doing? Slow. <laughs> You'd probably go a little faster if it wasn't so busy here. I would, but then I'd, yeah. It's I'd like a sea of humanity, isn't it? Yeah. He would be uh, a ballistic missile here. Yeah. Well, I'd have to check the uh, table of algorithms to see how far I'd go before. Yeah. No, I thought that might have a speedometer on it. Um, so, oh, my. So, I don't think it would register. Probably not. Mind you, it's kind of irrelevant, isn't it? As long as you get to wherever you want to be on time, it doesn't really matter how fast you're going. So you must have some uh, exhibits here already. Eh? Did Al bring them from the studio? Al and Gary, yeah. Good. Because um, they were just up here, a little further up. They had the white, uh, Gary's white um, handy dart. That was parked off to the side, and they were on that side of the road. I would have thought they would stand out. I don't think we've missed them. I don't think we've missed them. Chris is, uh, Chris is in our slipstream. He's, he's using us as a, like a... Yeah, he's drafting behind us. We break our way through the sea of humanity. Yeah, I break wind and you're right behind <laughs> Yeah, too much information. I just worry that you're going to run over my foot, but I guess, I guess you're okay with that. I mean... No, I'm all right with a broken foot, but you're not. 
Well, I'm just getting over a bit of ankle injury, so this is my second workout today. Wow. I went How to the rec- have you done this morning. I did nine on the elliptical. Wow. You know that machine? Yeah. It's pretty good for what I'm recovering from because it works my tendon yeah. without actually having to jump from foot to foot. Yeah. My feet never leave the ground, basically, but I go through the motions of running. And what I did on each step is raise the heel oh, yeah. as if I was pushing off from my toe just to see what that felt like. So are, are, when you run, are you a heel striker? Not really. I'm more of a midfoot. I land on my midfoot and then I push off. I don't use the heel a lot. Whenever I look at my shoes, the heel's not the most worn. That's good. The most worn part is the outside of my right foot. That's the foot that I use the most. Hopefully now, if I get back into a nice even gait, I'll have less imbalance of my leg use. Beautiful dog. Well, it makes you realize when you're not able to do the stuff that you enjoy, how much you miss it. <laughs> Look at the colors on that Citroen. <laughs> yeah, I saw that for sale. Look at that. How much they want for that? A two a C2, uh, yeah, a Citroen 2CV. <laughs> 10,000. Yeah, not too bad, really. You pay that for a new car nowadays. Guess how much? Ah, <laughs> oh, you got good ears. You got good ears. Well, that's what you'd pay for a new car nowadays. Yeah, sure wouldn't pay that for a Citroen. Well, you, it's probably been restored or maintained at least. It's not a rust bucket like it would have been. To get, that was a 1984 Citroen. It was? Yep. Oh my goodness. I guess they haven't changed they, they didn't change at all. It was like the old VW. Oh, wow. It never changed for so many years. All right, now this is roughly where I'm expecting to see Al and the boys. They said they're across from the school. Yep, so that's higher up still. We haven't got to. Oh, have we passed the school? No, nope, we're coming to it. We're coming to it. All right. That's Fairfield up there. That's where I started this saga. I got off the bus and started going downhill. It's my story of my life. I got off the bus and went downhill from then on. But now we're going uphill again. Yeah. I can smell uh, sweet, sweet stuff, sweet stuff. I'm looking forward to burning a heck of a lot more calories than I've been burning recently. Yeah, I know, but once I start running again, I'm sure I'm going to burn a lot of calories. Now I can get by with a sandwich and a couple of beers. That's me for the day. That's all the calories I need. A nice sandwich and a couple of beers, and I'm good for another day. You like dark beer? Yep, I do. I, 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 last time I saw you, I yes. was just coming back from, the, from, from getting some malt uh, extract from the store. Anyway, so that beer is already being enjoyed. Oh, good. Yep, because I use, as I was explaining to you, I'm oh, using that system where I keep some of the old and I add new to it. So it's always semi-ready. If I was patient, I could wait and it would all be delicious. But I'm getting through the stage when it's now tasting pretty good. And I've got about uh, six gallons of it. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two shots a day? About that. Well, it's probably, when it's tasting good, it's more like a liter a day. (laughs) Which is about three cups. Well, a regular size Canadian beer bottle is a third of a litre. So if I'm drinking a litre a day, I'm drinking three of those. Or the equivalent. Yeah. Is that your phone talking to us? It is. Do you have it on some tracking app? No, I just like getting a Oh, 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 you too. I thought it was just me. 
Watch out for the uh, law enforcement officer. Can't call them policemen anymore. Your destination is on your left. I heard that. So this is the school here. So James Douglas, mind your backs. Thank you. Oh, you're nippy, eh? Chris! Uh, it's a little awkward walking with a bicycle because uh, the pedals oh, stick yeah. out. He's run into his own pedals a few times now. All right, so this is roughly where we should see the guys. This is the school. Yeah, I seem to think they're under those cherry trees up there. Did they have an awning last year? Did they have a canopy? They did, because when I saw them, it was still open to the sky. A couple of cans of pee and a few bags. What? <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> You're playing on words there. A can of pee. Yeah. It reminds me of one of those, I think it was either the Marx Brothers or something. One of those old comedy movies from the old days. And the guy says, open a can of peas. Hoist the mainsail and open a can of peas. And it was hoist the mainsail and open the canopy. Open a can of peas. And they're saying, why should I open a can of peas? What do I need peas for? Well, I'm planning to uh, pick up some groceries from the farmer's market. Later on, I'm going to buy carrots and uh, onions and stuff. Do you see him? Yeah. Ah, I recognize this, the artwork. Mr. Unger. Back on two feet, eh? <laughs> I feel like doing a little happy dance. Yeah. Well, you're, you're welcome to. Hey, Brent. How are you doing? I found him. He was almost at Dallas yeah. Road. I said, I think they're up this way a little bit more. Uh, uh, Hi, Gary. How are you doing? Did Very you good. With, uh, Al and no. You took the bus? Or? My buddy brought me down. Oh, nice. Jerry. I took yeah, the I bus. Got, I got down here by bus. I to unload some of my stuff. Do you have a bag of some items? I brought my fins down, my bronzes. Yeah, we, we just got a lot of shit up there. We put out the way. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to go for a beer? No, I'm going to keep wandering on up to the town. You're going that way? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to go up to the top. <laughs> okay. Are you going to head off down that road? No, I'm just going to head up to, the, uh, head up to uh, Richardson. I said I have to get my water for down to use it. There is a beer garden at the art gallery itself. I'm not sharing with you. I'll buy you one. I have one, so I'm in. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I'll, I'll buy you a beer, don't worry. Unless there's a huge lineup, you know. I have beer at home. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I got to see my friends and help them get their stuff out. I'm glad a ranger Rob Pierce is the one who he's been doing. Oh, by the guy. Kind of yes and kind of Yep, so I'm going to see what's going on at the art gallery. And I can see it right up ahead. There's the wall of uh, the school. What's the name of that school up there? It's not Vic High, is it? Oh, uh, Central Junior. Central, that's right. Yeah, yeah. It might be a high school by now. No, it's still a middle school. It's a middle school? Well, what happened to a lot of the schools in my neighborhood is they started off as elementary, and then there were two elementary schools in the same neighborhood, so one of them became a middle school. So now we have one elementary, one middle school, and then the high school is Lambrick. Lambrick Park is the high school. Did you live in Gordon Head? No, I remember last we lived in the... Cordova Bay? Uh, no, uh, just by up near the junction, uh, Belcher Avenue. 
It's a couple of blocks down, not actually too far away from uh, Central Junior. Okay. And, uh, I thought you were talking about Lambrick. Oh, no, no, no. You never were well, in Gordon Head. Uh, a few of the kids that went to Central Junior. Yeah. Oh, that was back in the Greece area. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, Tuesday, we're meeting at uh, Discovery Coffee right. yeah. at 1 o'clock. Uh -huh. Well, that's good. Yep. That's good. And I think Joe is going to get serious about his half mar marathon training. Uh, by reading by his Facebook post, he's back into a mode now. He puts, yeah. he puts his uh, detail, he details his, his training almost daily now. Yeah. Well, I guess he's kind of uh, on his own now that Dorothy's in Malta. Yeah. And he's retired as well, so he's getting all this freedom all at once. Yeah. yeah. He's got the house to himself, yeah. he's got no job to go to, yeah. and he still can't sleep. That's the problem he has. I don't know. I think he might drink more coffee than he needs to. He might be one of these uh, four or five cups a day kind of guy. And like me, I mean, he's quite a lightweight. In fact, he's a smaller person than I am. And, you know, if I drink coffee or if I drink beer, it gets to me much quicker because I don't have as much mass to absorb it all. Yeah. Like I have to take a, 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 a child's dose of something, otherwise it's too strong for me. <laughs> well, it's odd, because I had a cup of coffee when we were at, uh, at uh, Joe's place yeah. before I left. I could sure feel it in my stomach when I was riding home. Well, you were a bit, you've been on uh, decaf for a while, haven't you? Yeah, I've been, yeah, I've been decafing it, yeah. So maybe that was the difference. When you <laughs> drank his coffee, it probably has quite a lot of caffeine in it. I was going to stop for coffee, but at the time I was a little nervous about, firstly, the, about the amount of beer that I'd drunk, and secondly, I didn't really want to be clomping around with a dangerous leg, you know, something that might get damaged. So I decided to go while I was still ahead, you know, while I was still in one piece kind of thing. There's a lot of beautiful women here today. I was going to say Have you noticed? There's a guy in a kilt. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I wasn't assuming that you were looking for a guy in a kilt. <laughs> no. I love this tree here. It's a really big uh, sequoia right next to a really small house. <laughs> the tree is ten times bigger than the house. I bet if you lived on these side streets, you wouldn't be too happy because I'm sure they've blocked a lot of them off. For a cyclist, you're okay, but if you wanted to go somewhere in your car... You're what? Beaumont, the car. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow at 11 is a track meet. Where? On TV. Oh, I see. Nice. It's beer o'clock. Beer o'clock, but it's not wine 30 yet. It's not wine 30. Anyway, yeah, well, nice to see you both. In a few hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy your beer. Good luck with the healing. See you later, guys. Nice to see you. It's funny how quite often when I see Wendy, she, she either doesn't see me or she, she, she looks as if I'm not there, like she's looking over my head. Maybe she is a bit short-sighted, I don't know. Yeah, she wears she glasses, yeah. Brian's looking good. Yeah, yeah. He never really got off into running like his wife, Wendy, was the... Well, his wife, I've known Wendy since, since she was 15. Since the Dusty Sneakers days. Well, that was when, uh, yeah, that's when we were doing track and field. I could certainly notice the increase in gradient all of a sudden. It got steep. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. I will, I will, I will. So would you not go past that next to... Have 28 mil tires on them, and they were like dwindling. So I've seen everybody I wanted to see this year already. It's great. <laughs> I could get the bus and go home now. My job is done. <laughs> Finally, it gets to level off a bit. Lots of dogs as well today. That looks like an electric bicycle, that one over there. Oh no, I think that's what they call a cargo bike. A cargo bike. It's cooler up here, isn't it? I guess we're getting the, water, the, way, the air off the ocean up here. I came by, I came off the terrace, that's freezing. Mm. Did you do your papers this morning? Of course. Of course. We've <laughs> <laughs> yeah. got a couple of people on the sub now. One guy's on the flight to Canada. Well, that's good. So you can take a few days off if you feel like it, if you wanted to go camping or... Oh, yeah, I'm planning to... I was planning a trip to Canberra, but it's just so smoky there, they can't... Yeah, well, wait till they give them all clear before you go up there. They've got enough on their hands now. I guess that's what it is, yeah. I guess we're not interview worthy. I hear the bongos. We must be getting close. That would be. Yes, that's the, that's the sort of speed that I used to run at. That was like uh, eight kilometers an hour. Five miles an hour is eight kilometers an hour. Yeah. For the longest time, I was running consistently sub six minute kilometers, but I very soon I lost that, and I thought, well. What I'll do is I'll just set myself an easier target. I'll say, okay, I'll be happy with six minute kilometers on the flat and seven minutes on hills. And now I can handle that for a few more years. And what with bicycle and running, eventually I'll be able to do some of my cardio on the bike and not all of it running or walking. They got an arm crank thing where you just. Oh, yeah. Two minutes one way for about four minutes. And they got uh, programs to be set it at hills and things. Well, the, uh, Is there much uh, resistance? I mean, you could set for different uh, well, resistance. Programs. Like, sometimes they have uh, high, low, high, low. Like, yeah. And they fire every two minutes to change directions. Uh -huh. It's just for the arms. I think it's done good because I've just discovered how weak I am. I yeah. Well, most good. runners, they feel that they're fit because their legs are strong and their hearts are strong, but yeah. our arms are. Our arms aren't very strong, and I noticed that when I had to walk around on crutches. Well, My arms were getting so tired so quickly. I found out the hard way. I've had a few falls on my bike. I tripped one morning with an arm, arm load of people, so I tripped and fell. I don't know where I left my arm and just through the shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the, the, the work that you do, is that considered uh, real work? I mean, can you get workman's compensation if you got injured or anything like that? No, this is private. It's just a private, private bit deal. See what happens? What happens? Uh, two times I had somebody sub, and they were still paying me, but I was having to pay the uh, David, the fellow, the young fellow who agreed to sub me for a few weeks. When I was off, so I had to pay him. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. So that's how it works. It's that's an informal works. arrangement. Yes. Yeah, so but uh, uh, but somebody gets time. paid by the Times columnist. Yeah. And they they just mail you a t check to your account or what? Direct deposit. Oh, that's good. And it, it keeps you in coffee money and... and uh, well, it's exercise, a little bit of money coming in. I say I don't really want to give it up. 
Well, when I first started it, I got, kind of got carried away. I started doing six weeks. Well, John Cliff is a very good example of uh, why you should keep doing things. Oh, yeah, he probably does that. I mean, he's like me. He's probably, he's probably keeping him running fit than in, in his actual running. I don't know how much running he's doing these days. Look. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a banner up there. Yeah, it yeah. probably says Subway. Yep, it says Subway. Anyway, so uh, this is us, really. Yeah. We're here at the Moss Street Painting. Yeah, yeah. 2017. Having a beer. <laughs> All right.